Okay, we've got Matt Scott, personal trainer, golf specific at Let's Golf this evening. And we're going to talk about the warm up. We have golfers that are arriving to the tee every weekend. Yeah. And what, what do we see them do, Matt? What do they do? <laughs> They'll drag their car, uh, clubs out of their car, um, be lucky to make any sort of practice swing, um, probably grab a coffee and bacon sandwich, and spend 10, 20 minutes doing that, yeah. uh, rather than doing any sort of uh, mobility, any sort of activation, any sort of uh, preparation. Okay, so we're talking about the golfer then just getting out of the car to the tee, <coughs> tees off, and then it's going to take them three or four holes before yeah. their body is ready to play golf. So. What kind of exercise, have you got like a program, a yep. quick program that the golfer can do, ready, waiting for their tee time, you know, by the first tee, we've got Pebble Beach here and HD, so we're just standing here waiting for the group in front of us to tee off, have we got a, some exercises yep. that the golfer can do? So it's, it's five, six exercises that you can do on the first tee, yeah? So I'll, do, I'll give you a couple of reps of each, but usually stick to around maybe 10 reps of each. Um, so we can start off loosening up the hips, okay? So we're gonna go forwards and backwards, leg swings, okay, to loosen the hips up here. And then we're gonna go across the body, okay, out this way too, um, both sides, about 10 reps. Okay. So hips are loosened up, shoulders next, so we're gonna go up and down, okay, for the shoulders, uh, 10 reps up and down, and then out and across. Okay, again, another 10 reps this way. Next up, we're gonna go for windmills. So we're gonna get into a good golf posture with a hip hinge, okay? And then turning from one side to the other, okay? Making sure we're loosening up the uh, thoracic spine this time, okay? So we're getting a bit more rotation around the trunk. So we've done hips, shoulders, uh, and then trunk. So this time now we can work on a bit of a golf movement pattern where we have our golf club in front, we're turning, loading up, and then getting all the way through. Um, so as if you're a left-hander, this would be, and then we'll do some right-handed as well, loading up the trail side, and pressing off into a good follow-through position. Make sure you do left and right-handed. Yeah. We can progress that into a squat to follow through, so we could then use our golf club or just have our arms out in front, squat down, follow all the way through, okay, really loading up the trail side, pressing forward onto the lead side, okay, into a good forward through position, left and right handed, okay, from here. <coughs> and then what I like people to do, just for kind of coordination, a bit of awareness, is if you're right-handed, make some left-handed golf swings, okay? okay. Good and then obviously I'm left-handed, so I'd make some right-handed golf swings um, before, so let's just see my right-handed golf <laughs> swing. Let's <laughs> <laughs> out, <Bust> it out. <laughs> <laughs> no comments, please. So I'll take it nice and easy to begin with, um, almost like a little wedge shot, and then think about maybe one to 10, where we're getting just a little bit more, uh, a little bit more speed um, with each one. So let's just do one more this time. Uh, same left-handed as on left-handed next, so then normal, um, nice and easy for the first one, and then gradually just getting a little bit quicker as we get from one step. Okay, very good. So the key to it being the alternation as well for left and right hand, which is quite important because then we get the, the exercise across. Yep. My heart rate's going on, yeah. just that. So we've got <laughs> a heart rate ready, so when the heart's pumping, that's good, that's getting us ready for sports, so we're ready to yep. start off on the first tee and crack out that driver. Fantastic exercises, Matt. Thanks for coming down to Let's Go. Guys, cheers, dude.